And we're live in Washington, D.C. at the GBA conference. It's the future of money, governance, and law. So we're the best, world's greatest crypto coverage. When you come in here, you get to meet us and uh, we'll share you some of the big shots. Speaking of big shots, I have the U.S. ambassador the, uh, of El Salvador. So thank you so much for coming on, Miss Milana Mayorja. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you. So how has the event been for you today? Well, it's such a honor and a privilege to be here in the name of uh, our president, Najib Bukele. And especially because, uh, you know, this award is courage. Yes. It's a very important word that means that we need determination and uh, to have a certain goal and pursue in, in this goal. And President Bukele, definitely, he's courageous. Absolutely. Actually, one of the most courageous presidents out there. Uh, he's really pushing Bitcoin uh, technology further. He, he opened it up to his citizens, he even airdropped. And one amazing thing that happened was many of the unbanked citizens now have access to uh, online uh, currencies. So how is that working for the citizens? Well, in September, the app was launched, and right now we have 4 million Salvadorans using the app. And with the Chivo wallet, they are transferring money uh, at zero cost to El Salvador. Uh, all the remittances, the majority are coming from the United States. Mm -hmm. And this is just the beginning, because there's a lot of fear using the app, using Bitcoin, and the, the wash wallet, this national wallet, you can choose if you uh, use it with dollars or Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And right now we were uh, experimenting that the people are getting to know the app mm -hmm. and we need to educate uh, the Salvadoran people to see uh, here in the United States the advantage uh, to send money at zero cost. So they're still learning and the best is that it's by recommendation. Mm -hmm. So from one to the other, you know, that the good news is traveling. And and I think this year is going to be like the boom because, uh -huh. you know, it was launched in September with a bad campaign against the using of the of this new technology. And when you say that uh, the amount of population that were before unbanked mm -hmm. is so important, this big step because we're always talking about financial inclusion. This is not only financial inclusion, this is economic freedom. Yes, it's fantastic. So I was curious, how did you get involved with the president of El Salvador? Well, he was from one political party. Mm -hmm. I was from another political party. But in this special moment of the history of El Salvador, I was fighting against corruption in the Congress. And I had to uh, leave the party mm -hmm. uh, because I received like 42 episodes of violence, political violence. So I resigned it when uh, they were against uh, a lot of laws that it was in the, during COVID, uh, mm -hmm. the most important days. And they didn't want to release help and uh, money for the vaccine. So it was like the last. So that's why I resigned. And then I was fighting uh, with the Supreme Court so I could find a path to run again as an independent candidate because the system blocks you and punish you. So you have to wait three, four years to run again. And that's your, the end of your political career. Mm -hmm. So I was fighting, you know, I was in the Congress when uh, President Bukele called me and he told me, you know, you understand the situation and the corruption in the Congress and you, you've been um, working on this and I need you to be part of my, my government and because it's, it's sad that the, the system is blocking you. Mm -hmm. So, wow, this is, was like an amazing proposal and very important for this moment. Yes. Because uh, uh, right now El Salvador is changing the system and the rest of the countries are looking at us. Yes. 
So El Salvador is that example, and we're very proud of them. And it is uh, a, a peaceful revolution, and things are advancing fast. And so maybe what's one of the latest uh, advancements you've seen happening in El Salvador, and is it working well or not? Well, imagine the first announcement was in June. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the law uh, in September, the, the Chivo wallet was launched also in September. And then in November, we had the Bitcoin week. Yes. Uh, with like 4,000 tourists over there, uh -huh. 10,000 people uh, connected virtually. And at the end of the Bitcoin week, President Bukele announced the Bitcoin city and the volcano bonds. And this opened the door for another world. Uh -huh. And right now there's a lot of companies that are looking for us because they want to move to El Salvador. Mm -hmm. And so this year is going to be very important, not only f because of the volcano bonds and the Bitcoin city, mm -hmm. but for the rest. For the rest, exactly. Well, thank you so much for coming on. It's an uh, absolute pre pleasure to have you here. And we'll keep the, uh, we're at the end of the day here for GBA, but tomorrow is uh, day two and we'll keep you guys tuned. So have a great day. Can you press stop there and then press it twice?